for me and for the folks who visit the museum, I think the most important takeaway for them is this whole notion of unexplainable. As human beings, we try to explain the world that we see around us as best as we can, but there are things that are unexplainable. For many, many years, my dear friend Janet Kolar owned the Torture Museum, and it was a museum dedicated to torture devices. When Janet decided to retire, I wanted to kind of keep her legacy going here in Alton, particularly because the tourists come here for this kind of stuff. What I did is added about a thousand things from my own personal collection, and now it's much more of an oddities, curiosity museum. If we can give some history associated with those things and you know, encourage folks to think just a little bit differently about it, be open-minded about it, you might come to learn a little bit more about yourself and your own humanity and how you interact and treat other people. And that's the whole idea behind the museum is to come learn, read, try and understand and maybe appreciate things from a different perspective.